I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA Hauga chest of free drawers with a shelf. Let's do it. And you're getting two boxes with this IKEA Hauga free chest of drawers with the shelf. I'm just gonna open everything quickly up so you can see how much stuff you're getting in those two boxes. Manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video. And this is all you're getting in those two boxes for IKEA Hauga chest of free drawers with a shelf. One plastic bag with a lot of screws, another box with more screws and brackets and the rails for the drawers. Let's open this bigger bag with the screws up and you have three bags in there, mark 1, 2 and A. Useful tools, bigger electric screwdriver combination with drill and smaller electric screwdriver, useful tools in any furniture assembly. If you'd like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the description. You're gonna open bag number one. I like to organize it so I know better what I'm working with. So this is bag number one. And we're gonna start with the side panel. So this is the side panel number one and side panel number two. So we're gonna mirror them up and we're gonna bring all three rails. So in each box of rail, you have four pieces and two of them are for the side panels and two of them are for the drawers. Those ones, this is for the side panels and they mark CL on the middle and CR on the middle so left and right so those goes for the side panels and here those rails are for the drawers and they mark dr and dl so left and right all the rails for the drawers we're going to put on the side we're just going to use the ones for the side panels so we're going to open all three boxes so in each you have a four pieces to go on the side for the drawers and two on the middle we have for the dividing panels so here are six of them three left three right and as i mentioned they are marked cl the left one and the other three are cr so that's the right side so we're gonna take the cr the right side and we're gonna put them on the right side panel and place them equally on the holes and three of them mark cl we're gonna put on the left side panel position them correctly Next to the wheel, there is this entrance which the drawer is going to come in, so that's going to be on the top. And just position them exactly on the holes. So you're going to need those small screws which we're going to secure the rails to the side panel. And there is a three screws for each rail. Just place them in. As you can see, this small electric screwdriver is extremely useful here. As I mentioned, if you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the description. Secure the screws completely in so the heads are not sticking out at all. If you're not going to do that, you may have a problem when you're going to slide the drawers in. They're not going to come in or, or when you slide the drawers in, they may do kind of like a squeaky noise as the screw is going to grind against the rail. So make sure they're completely in. Now we can put one side panel on the side and we're going to have this dividing panel. So here is plain. Here you have a four holes on this side. So the four holes going to be the bottom side on the front edges you're going to have one colored side and one plain side with the six holes so this plain side is going to be at the back and at the moment is positioned up so the front side is at the bottom now so that's the colored side position it exactly as i have it here four holes that those they're going to go at the bottom and the curved side is on the top and we're gonna do the bottom side so opening here on the side panels the hole have bigger opening on the top so slide the plugs in the bigger opening on the at the bottom and on the top at the same time slide it in once you don't have any gap you can push it push the panel dividing panel down you can just tap it from the top you know, in the correct position if you're gonna line up with the gap on the edge of the side panel Exactly the same with the second panel, they're exactly the same, four holes on one side, front side colored and back side is plain with the six holes. This way up, so the plain side up and exactly the same, find the bigger opening in the hole, slide it in and tap it from the top till you get right on the edge of the gap on the side panel. That's the gap for the back panel 
Now we're gonna put the second panel, second side panel in, and here you're gonna have to find all four holes at the same time almost, but I'm gonna start with one side first, find a bigger opening, place it in on the both side, on the both holes, and go to the other side and do exactly the same. Find the bigger opening and tap it completely in. Once you're in, you can push it from the top, but that's how the connection is locked and here other side exactly the same, be in the correct position, so no gap at all, and now I can tap it all down and push the side panel in the right place. Now we have dividing panel lining up nicely with the gap on the side panel on both sides. Now we're gonna place the back panel, unfold it, folding in three. Hopefully you have more space than I have here. One side is plain, one side is colored, so the plain side is going to be on the outer side and the colored side is going to be on the inner side. Here you're going to have the holes in the first quarter, so that's going to be the top side. At the bottom you're going to have the holes on the edge, that's going to be the bottom side. So here just slide it from the bottom, slide it up. If you have enough more space than me here at the back, you can just straighten up and slide it completely in. Here I have to fold it and open it slowly as I don't have much space behind me. And here lift it up slightly, get over the edge on the top dividing panel and slide it all the way up till you line up with the bottom. You're gonna know you're in the right position as you're gonna line up with the holes on the top dividing panel and, and the bottom dividing panel. You see the holes are lining up nicely. Holes the back panel lining up nicely with the holes in the dividing panel. You're gonna stick out slightly from the top but don't worry about that for now because we have the extension for the shelf which we're gonna build later on. We're gonna have two types of plastics here, let's call them female and a male. We're gonna put four females on the top, just place them in through the hole in the back panel to the dividing panel. They go pretty easy, you don't need a hammer for this. And at the bottom exactly the same, all four female going in and just slide them in holes, you're gonna have four of them on the top dividing panel, four on the bottom dividing panel. Now the second part of the connection is the male part, then it's coming in, and it's all four of them. They're coming kind of easy in, so you don't need to use a hammer here, you see I can just do that with one finger, no problem at all. It's nice easy connection here. So here it's slightly different system as you can see, then then it's the nails, which I kind of like. It's easier, Seem the whole seams lining up nicely and once the unit is done it's uh, exactly in, a, in the right place. Now we're gonna have another type of plastics, exactly the same, one female, one male, I'm gonna call them this way. We're gonna put three female on this one side panel first and then we're gonna secure them with the three male. Three female on the other side, exactly the same as on the previous side. I'm sorry if you hear kind of snoring, my dog is just next to me here and he's chilling. Okay, and the male part coming in now and just push it in. This one I find it slightly harder to push in, so if you're not gonna get in completely you can you can gently kind of tap with a hammer just to push them completely in. Or once if you press it hard it's 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 coming in, but I find it a little bit harder. I guess that's have to be pretty tight just to secure the unit in a right position, so that's a good thing. So just coming in nicely like that and connecting together. Now we're gonna turn it around as we're gonna do the bottom dividing panel. That's the one here, just slim one. You have two holes on the edges here and on the other side you have two holes on the middle. So we're gonna place two wooden plaques on those two holes on the middle. Okay, we got two wooden plaques in and now we can just place it into those holes and they are at the front of the unit under the bottom panel. I just slide them into those two holes and join it together. Once you're in we're gonna have these three holes next to each other and we're gonna place plastic legs. We're gonna triangle leg and one straight leg. The one triangle one coming at the bottom and connecting with the dividing panel which we just slide in now on those two wooden plugs and on the other side exactly the same triangle securing those two sides together. On the top you're gonna have the straight leg just place it in, find those two holes and just like, tap it in. Don't need hammer for this as plastic legs come in nicely without the hammer. Now we can lift the whole unit up and turn it around. We're gonna have those two plastic plugs that just to cover the holes on the sides here, on the top, one side and exactly the same on the other side, just place them in. 
now we're gonna work with the shelf so we're gonna have one bigger panel and two of these smaller panels one slimmer long panel and four wooden plugs two side panels we're gonna place the wooden plugs here so there is a two wooden plugs for each of these side panels just place them in this is long wooden plugs so just place them in here and secure it with a hammer now we can connect them, they have exactly the same holes, one with a bigger opening on one side and smaller opening on the other side. So we have the bigger opening on the top right now. This is the line here at the back and plain side, so that's the back side of the panel and on the front you have the colored one. Here how we're gonna connect it. See the gap is on the top and the gap on the side panel is on the top as well, so they're gonna line up nicely. Find the bigger opening in the side panel and slide it down just tap it in and the gaps on the edges gonna line up once you're in a correct position here it is that's how i like it nicely lining up on the top as well now we can do the other side and exactly the same we find the bigger opening in the holes place the panel in once you don't have any gap you can tap it down don't do this with a hammer as you may break the boot so i just Doing it with the hand here, just go slowly, don't hurt yourself. Here now we have this uh, panel on the top, we have the bigger holes on the top, colored side one and plain side on the other side, three wooden plugs, we're gonna place them in a three holes on the plain side and secure them with a hammer. Now the colored side is gonna be on the inner side and the plain side with the big holes on the outer side. Just slide them, slide the panel in like this there is no holders on the side just three holes at the bottom so find those three holes in the dividing panel and just tap it this small panel in i'm gonna secure the panel on the top later on i'm gonna explain that in a moment for now we're gonna place this panel on the top of the unit so here pay attention it's a bit fiddly here so you're gonna have to find those gaps on the on this small unit so there's those gaps on the edges they're coming to the back panel you're gonna have to slide it in don't tweak it too much you don't want to break that back panel as this is just slim panel so once you're in the right place you're gonna be right on those two holes and we in here in the gaps correctly once you're in the right place you can start to push it down slowly one side and then the other side here you see i go from one side to the other side just slowly if you push one side too much in you're not going to be able to do the other side once i came here i see the back panel is not coming on its own to the gap here so i just have to push it on the side just make sure you're in the gap otherwise you're not going to be able to push this down so once you're in you can push all the units down and reduce the gap on the edges to the zero nicely lining up on both sides and we're gonna open bag number two and in this bag we're gonna have two metal brackets and a few plastic parts so this is the two metal brackets and this is the plastic parts which they're gonna be joined let's call them again male and female we're gonna have four holes here two on the shelf side and two on the main unit side the females coming in two on the shelf side and two on the main side here you have exactly the same things as we did on the back just in the white color here the male part coming in so in all four of them apart from one they come nicely in the one was like a bending little bit but uh, they're coming in without the hammer so it's all good and we're gonna do exactly the same for the other side so you're gonna have this bracket connecting the main unit with the extension or with the shelf unit on the top the four female plastics connecting in the four holes and secure them with those male parts nice connection here and now we're gonna have two of these so that they're gonna secure the back panel it's exactly the same system as we did for the main frame just this one securing the unit on the top so just place the female in and secure it with the male part after that that's securing the back panel see i use a little bit of hammer here just to make sure we have but i'm going gently here as it's just a plastic here there's another thing another same female and male parts as we did for the back panel we're gonna secure the small slim panel on the top of the shelf that's how it is just female in first and the male securing this part 
and exactly the same on the other side secure with the female first in and then the male part securing the edge here as well here we have this bag with the wall plugs screws and the spacer for the skirting board which is gonna explain now this is the spacers for the skirting board just place them in here if you're gonna attach this unit on the wall or not that's fine you can just have them there so you're flexible for the future if you want to one day attach the unit to the wall so this is the spacer and i'm gonna explain in a moment how it works if you have a skirting board and you want to space depend how thick is your skirting board or if you have without you just take them out you're gonna have a four long screws i don't know why they give four long screws you're just gonna need two if you're gonna use those long screws you can use any other screws so you open the spacer up and you see how thick is the skirting board here so that's roughly the space you need you're gonna need a screw with the washer and the coming it's gonna come in from the inner side first you're gonna mark the wall where you're gonna attach it then you drill the hole and then the screw is gonna come out this way before you put the screw in you have the hole already in the wall with the wall plug you screw or unscrew the spacer depend how thick is your skirting board then you put the screw in and you can just secure it to the wall and now we have a back A. Let's open it up. This is going to be the drawers. So it's quite a lot of screws here. As we have three drawers, I'm going to explain you one drawer in detail. And then on the other two, I'm going to show you how to speed up the process, how to make the drawer faster. So let's do the first drawer first. So this is all the parts for all three drawers. This is the front panel for the drawers. We're going to need four of these screws. And we're going to place them in a front panel. You're going to have two of these drawers and one smaller drawer. For those two bigger drawer fronts, you have the screws going on the first and last hole. On the smaller drawer, there's going to be slightly different. I'm going to mention that when we get to it. This is dividing panels and you're going to have, and they marked with the dot on the middle and the, there's two of them without. So this is for the bigger drawer. So one left, one right, one with dot, one without. You're going to need four wooden plugs for one drawer as we think first only one drawer just place them in to the middle holes you get gaps there you have a holes at the front here and holes for the rails so that's outer side just place it in the holes see the holes for the rails and for the locks are on the outer side same here holes for the rails on the outer side tap it in now we're gonna need those locks four of them on each locks there is an arrow and the arrow pointing down that's how we're gonna lock the connection if you place it the other way around you're not gonna be able to lock the connections just twist locks to the right side secure the dividing panel with the front panel exactly the same on the other side arrow on the lock pointing down and twist the lock to the right side to secure the connection now we're going to have a back panel, one side is white and one side is plain. The plain side is going to be on the bottom, the white side is going to be on the inner side of the drawer. Slide the bottom panel to the gap and now we're going to put the back panel. On the back panel you have this gap which is going to come to the bottom panel. And before we put that we're going to put this bracket. So this bracket is curving into the left side here, you see. So it's going to be on the side where is the gap. So the curve is on the side where is going to be the gap. And we're going to push it all the way to the second point here. Don't go deeper than that, otherwise you're going to come out from the other side. Just right on the, on the mark, on the second mark. And it's curving nicely to the left. And now we're going to put the back panel. First one side in, another side in. Place it in the gap on the middle. Close it in. And here you see the bracket at the back supporting the bottom panel. If you put it the other way around, it's not going to support the panel. You're going to have four of these locks, just place them in, arrow pointing to the, to the side panel. You're going to have those four plastics, just slide them in, there's no screw or anything here, they're just going to lock with the locks nicely. Slightly different system on those drawers than the usual IKEA one, and here exactly the same. I think it's pretty easy this uh, system, easier than the screws I would say or those uh, just those plastic which you have to bang in with a hammer so here exactly the same secure them with the two locks locks pointing to the screw or to the plastic uh, and twist lock to the right side to secure the connection 
you're gonna have two rails wheels at the back and you get six screws so it's gonna be three for each rail the wheel at the back of the drawer secure the rail with the three screws one of the rail is left one of the rail is right so position them in a the correct side make sure the wheel is at the back the screws should be completely in so the heads are not sticking out as i mentioned exactly the same when we was doing the side panels so you're not gonna kind of grind against the metal when you're gonna slide them in and we have one drawer almost done now we're gonna do the drawer handles so you have two of them one screw coming in and secure the drawer handle exactly the same on the other side screw coming in and securing the drawer handle from the other side and we have the first drawer ready now we're going to show you how to speed up this process as so you're going to have two of these i'm just going to slow down on the different parts so here the slimmer front drawer have a two screws but they coming on a hole first hole and second hole from the top the bigger drawer have a first and last hole so here's small one first two holes so how are we going to speed up the whole the whole thing you're going to do same operation at the same time you see i'm doing two brackets at the same time now i'm gonna do all the wooden plugs so uh, by the way for the small drawer there is only one wooden plug not two then you're gonna do them here one wooden plug and two screws right on the top on the small one and exactly the same on the other side on the small one so that's just the difference between the bigger and small drawer so here that's how we're speeding the whole thing up we're gonna do the same operation at the same time here we have just two drawers but if you have four or six drawers at the same time that's gonna speed up your uh, workflow dramatically so that's just a free tip how to make this thing go way faster <laughs> And here we have almost ready two drawers now just the drawer handles and we're done when you're gonna slide the drawers in here is how you're gonna do it so the bottom one coming in first thing get over the wheel in the drawer on the side panels just like that just get over the wheel first and then lift it up slightly and slide the drawer in that's how it works see coming nicely in and it's gonna come all the way second one exactly the same get the wheel over the wheel lift it up slightly and slide it in and the last slimmer drawer exactly the same wheel over the wheel lift it up slightly and slide the whole slide it all the way in take it out just pull it out and again wheel over the wheel and slide it in and this is it this is how you assemble ikea how got just the free drawers i hope you enjoyed if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will made my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day